Hey, how's it going YouTube? I just wanted to do a quick video over my two favorite snakes in my collection. My uh, boa constrictor and my blood python that I keep over here. Um, just the similarities and differences between the two for those of you uh, who are looking into having a pet boa constrictor or a pet blood python. Or maybe you already have a boa and you're looking to get a blood python or vice versa. Um, I've had this boa for almost a year. Um, so I feel I know their, uh, their temperament. Um, the, uh, the breeder told me that this is supposed to be a, uh, a hog island boa red tail cross. So, uh, the breeder claims that the snake will only reach seven feet. Um, but I'm preparing for a eight to nine foot snake, um, because I usually don't trust breeders, um, as much as I like to. Um, but yeah, they're very, uh, the difference between a boa and a blood python, um, Boas, they like to cling on with their tail. They're uh, they're very clingy animals. Um, I notice they don't like being out on the floor, uh, especially when they're when they're small like this. They're um, they're naturally arboreal, so they like to be they like to climb. Uh, so they feel a lot safer and a lot more at ease up in the air. I noticed uh, versus blood pythons prefer to be on the ground. Um, but uh, boas, uh, very easy going. You can see their their cage set up here. I just have like a little uh, this is a little hut. You can just slide right in there. Uh, you know, just I keep it I keep it simple and cheap. Uh, nothing too crazy. Uh, I don't know the size of this tub. Um, I, I I think it's an 18 quart tub. Um, he will be needing a bigger tub here pretty soon. And eventually, I would like to get him a boa file or a um, uh, or make it, or build a cage myself, and then I've got a, a little little water bowl I had laying around there, and this is aspen shavings. Um, you can go with paper towels as well, um, but aspen uh, works very well, especially if you just like to um, spot clean uh, and just pick up the poop in your tank uh, versus replacing the whole substrate, which you would if you had paper towels. Um, and yeah, so you just got tons of air holes in here. Um, so this is this it, it's very functional it works um, so back to the back to the boa here he eats an, one adult mouse once a week for right now um, he is getting some weight and some size on him when I bought him uh, he was very very I, I think he was the runt um, he was very very tiny compared to all the other ones and um, he was eating fro uh, fuzzy mice and now and then he moved up to hoppers, and now he's on adult mice. He's getting ready for rats. Um, not not quite there yet, but uh, he's almost there. But you can see what they like to do is they like to just uh, you know curl around you just like that. He's he's in shed right now. You can see his blue eyes there, so he's not looking his his prettiest. But you can see um, they're very easygoing. Uh, I enjoy boa constrictors very much. Uh, probably one of my favorite snakes so far. Um, I like to work with more of them in the future, but, uh, for right now, I'm just going to deal with this one and, uh, take care of it the best I can. Um, so that would be a boa constrictor. Um, the breeder claims that it's a hog island. It's got some hog island blood in it, which would be a dwarf boa, which mean, uh, the, and the breeder said that he would only get to about seven feet. Um, but I'm preparing for a 10 foot snake. Um, I don't usually trust what the breeders say usually. Um, so it's better prepare for a bigger snake. Um, and hopefully you do get a smaller snake. Um, but yep, this is my first, uh, boa constrictor. Uh, I'm enjoying him very much. And, uh, so we'll go ahead and move over to this blood python here. Now he's in a little five gallon, um, critter keeper tank. And, uh, I would like to get him in a tub, but the difference, one of the big differences between the two is, um, they don't, the boas, um, don't really usually soak very much, uh, whereas the blood pythons enjoy a nice soak once in a while. So I do give her a, um, a nice big water dish there so she can put her whole body in there and soak. Helps with sheds and helps with their scales so their scales don't dry out. They are, they do require more humidity than, um, than a boa constrictor or any other species for that matter. Um, they are a little moody. Um, 
And like I said, they do better when they're on the ground, placed on the ground like this. Um, yeah, so one thing I do notice is they are a lot moodier. Um, you have to work with them to get them to tame down. But if you enjoy, if you like to handle snakes and you want something a little bit more challenging, I would say this is definitely a, an upgrade from a boa constrictor. Uh, I would not, this is not a very good beginner snake. Um, I realize that. Uh, I would not recommend this to beginners in any way. Even though they are great snakes, I do suggest you have some experience with other species, preferably corn snakes, ball pythons, and uh, boa constrictors, tame, tamer species. Um, she eats an adult mouse once a week, just like the uh, boa constrictor does. Um, and I forgot to mention, she is a Malaysian red blood python. So when they when they get older, she will turn all this up here will turn a dark red. Um, so she'll be a, a very pretty snake. Um, she'll get about four to five foot long, um, maybe even more, since the red bloods do are known to get larger than the Borneos or the um, black bloods from Sumatra. Um, but yeah, they do. They are very gorgeous snakes. Um, their temperament is different. Like I said, uh, they feed the same. Uh, when they get bigger, um, people make the mistake of feeding them large meals like rabbits and stuff. Uh, they really, they really don't need that. Um, rabbits are a very bad idea because they are prone to obesity. So, um, and as a baby, I'm only feeding her large mice, even though she she could easily take a um, a small rat. But um, it's better to have them grow slowly for um, for increased life. In, uh, a better lifespan. Um, they don't poop very much, I noticed. The boa constrictor, he poops about maybe once every three weeks to a month. Um, it's been about, it's been, a, it's been about three months since my blood python has, um, pooped. So, um, yeah, I, I did notice that. Uh, so don't, don't be worried if your blood python hasn't pooped in a while. That's completely normal. Um, and I haven't had her for too long. I just got her about six months ago, so I'm still working with her, but she has tamed down considerably. Um, in the beginning, she would always snap at me uh, while I tried to get her out of her tank. She was very cage aggressive. Um, but now I can just reach in there usually and pick her up. Um, so yeah, and that would be uh, some differences. They both get about uh, the same length. Uh, boas do get a little longer. But girth-wise, um, blood pythons do get much wider, um, girthier. Uh, but yeah, they're they're both very very good snakes. But uh, if you're if you're considering uh, a first pet snake between these two, I would go ahead and go with a boa constrictor. Um, try to choose a smaller species of boa. I would not recommend a Colombian or a red tail because they do get much larger than. Um, Hog Island and uh, other dwarf boas, um, but boa constrictors are usually very tame. Blood pythons are more um, for experienced intermediate keepers. Um, so, yep, and that's just a quick video between the blood python and the boa. Thank you.